Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from the Dubai Air Show. I'm here at the India Pavilion, and DRDO, our very own Defense Research and Development Organization, is showcasing here. And here I have with me somebody who is from the Aeronautical Development Agency. He is deputy project director with the Naval Combat Aircraft. Scientist E. Ravinder Kumar Jyoti. Welcome to ADU's chat room, sir. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you, ma'am, and welcome for the audience. And you know, it's uh, very exciting. In the morning, when I was standing outside the DRDO uh, side of the India Pavilion, we had a lot of people coming and seeing and taking pictures and going of an aircraft which seemed different. So, what are you sh showcasing here? What is it? Well, we are showcasing twin engine deck based fighter which is a naval fighter aircraft, which is a medium format aircraft, medium class. So its weight is 26 tons. And this is an aircraft which is uh, designed based on Stobar technology. Short takeoff, but arrested recovery. So this aircraft is capable for landing in a short span of 90 meters and taking off within a short span of 205 meters. So this has got that capability to operate from any aircraft carrier. The thing is, which we have done in this is, we have official, we have designed it as per our Indian Naval requirement. We have got the wing fold for the compact storage of the aircraft into the carrier so that more number of aircrafts can be carried by the aircraft carrier. Part of basic designs, it has got like 1.8 Mach speed. It has got a service ceiling of 55,000 kilo feet. And the best thing out is, it has got advanced sensors, which is now we can see in the advanced generation of avionics, everything has been integrated into the system. We have got multiple sensors which are feeding the input, which are feeding the data to the pilot to help in uh, doing a better flying or help him to take more number of, uh, what I say, uh, decisions based upon intelligence acquired by the data from the sensors. And and all this technology, is it completely, completely Indian? Yes, of course, this is completely Indian. The technology is Indian. But as of now, the engine we are using G engine for the power plant, plant of this engine. Power plant, power plant of this aircraft, sorry. And the best thing is now we are like capable of carrying 7.5 ton of loads, payloads, which are stores, emanations in this aircraft. and this is having multiple role like combat air patrolling and then air to air strike air to ground strike ground strike air to marine strike and we are provisioning it for body refueling also and this will be having man and man teaming facility also and that's so, wonderful absolutely and uh, tell me one thing when you talk of uh, everything does it mean that it's going to be uh, once a part of the force can be a, uh, can it be a totally armed version yes Indeed, it has to be an armed version. It has to be a war fighting machine, and which we are developing it for. It will, it will be like as of now. If you see the LCA, which is there, it is again a fire power, fire powering machine. So it, it has got good amount of fire power. Now, being medium combat aircraft, it's got a higher payload capacity. So it can carry more number of weapons, different type of weapons. And the best thing out is we are trying to put most of the indigenous weapon in this platform. Uh, by indigenous weapons, you mean the uh, weapons which have been designed totally in India? Yes. So does that mean you are also involving along with DRDO, BDL, Bell and yes. uh, is, are there some private sectors also which are yes. a part of it? Yes, multiple DRDO labs, private sectors are helping us, they are helping ends of us to do integration and to supply all these armament to us. Yes, right. and we are in talk with them. Right. So, uh, you know, at the moment, what is the stage of the product? The stage of the product is, as of now, it is in the PDR state, preliminary design state. But eventually, this aircraft will come very soon by somewhere 2028, what we are expecting. The prototype or yes, the, the prototype? the prototype, yes. right. And then what do we expect, uh, the reaction from the forces? Is it uh, because it's going to be a naval-based uh, product? So, have you shown it to the Indian Navy? Do they know you are designing something like that, which is going to be very specific to their need? Ma'am, we are having a close meetings, close home meetings with naval officers also, even naval headquarters also. So all the inputs of the design are being given by pilots, by the naval officers. 
we are having a team wherein we have got all the people in the team and we all are taking decisions to really give a very good platform, very good machine to Indian Navy so that we can clear all the hurdles in the sky and the sea. That is really wonderful because it is attracting a lot of attention, you know. And uh, at the end of the day, how much time do you think uh, this project will need on the table? Is it going to be a long span no, before it we is, come to see? No, ma'am, I'll just uh, brief you a few things which uh, like common people, everybody should know. Yeah. Because India initially we have started with the four and, four and a half generation, that is for the Tejas. The second project which we are doing is LCN Navy. So in LCN Navy we have developed many technologies like arrested landing, which is very important. Landing gear, arrested hook system, then ski jump takeoff. So most of the requirements are already tested on the LCN Navy Mark 1 platform. Now what we have already got the technology, so that we have to pass in order to the TEDBA. So the design cycle or the time which is taken by the Mark 1, eventually I will say LCN Navy Mark 1 has only taken 16 years. 2003 the project has been sanctioned and 2019 we have done the Russian landing. So we have shown the Russian landing in 2020 January on INS Vikramadit. So if you see, we have done the job and that is within a short duration. If you see, cycle time of the aircraft is usually 20 to 22 years, 20 to 25 years. It happens like that. But eventually if you see Mark 1 we have done certainly in 16 years and this can be faster because we have got now all the gained experience which are being fed into this platform. Yeah, and you are not reinventing the wheel. Yes, of course. Very right, that is actually wonderful. So, uh, here, what has been the response here uh, in the air show here? Since I think it's the first time you are showcasing it. First time we are showcasing in this air show. Yeah. So, yes. what has been the response? Have people shown interest? Have other, uh, you know, countries and delegations, have people seen it? Yeah. And uh, what of, is the response? Yeah, a lot of people are coming and meeting us and asking about it and they are taking the brochures and there is a very good response like people so some people ask me why you are doing a folding in this way wing folding then I explained him okay wing folding is required for this for storage on the aircraft carrier mm -hmm. so then they said how much is the wing fold I said two by two third somewhere so what they said okay if you are two th one third of the portion you are folding so we can apply more it so mm -hmm. general public I am explaining the things which they are also appreciating that the design which you are making, it shall be like uh, usable or we can optimizely use that mm -hmm. for any carrier or for a service. Right. And so, you know, generally as a lay person, how many aircraft with folded wings could fit into one uh, aircraft carrier? Uh, somewhere we are expecting somewhere 24. Mm -hmm. 24 in one. Yes. Huh? Which is uh, absolutely great. So it's going to be only the large size carriers or it can filter into medium size carriers also? It is the carrier which are available with Indian Navy. With Indian Navy, okay, yes. fine. So at so the moment are, with that. We are majorly targeting Indian Navy yeah. because we are working in tandem with them. Yeah. As per the carrier requirements, we are also designing the aircraft also. So does that mean that suppose tomorrow you have an export market and somebody likes the technology and wants you to do it for them? then you can do it as per the need of that country? Yes, of course. We have got all design indigenous, so we don't have to go anywhere. We just have to change as per the specification. That will not be too like harsh. Okay. Say. The specification will not be too divergent. Mm. So it will be a little thing which can be done easily. Which can be done. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. It was wonderful speaking with you and so good to know that, you know, India is doing things which, uh, you know, we feel that uh, futuristic technologies are there with others. But at the end of the day, we know that we've got the best of uh, research and development in the country and we have such technologies with us also. Wonderful to have you, sir. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot.